The mayoral seat in one of America's largest cities is up for grabs, yet the likely winner is expected to have the smallest share of the vote in modern history, potentially less than one-tenth of the city's population. Dre Clark is live in Philadelphia with all of this. How does that map, uh, math break down? Well, it's quite complicated here, but, you know, we should note this race that's happening right now is one of the tightest, if not the tightest race uh, in city history. That's why right now it's anyone's race. Meanwhile, Philadelphia is a rock-solid blue city. There hasn't been a Republican mayor here since 1952, but for the first time in city history, a woman could actually be sitting in the mayor's office here at City Hall calling the shots. But again, right now, the race is still too close to call. Meanwhile, the most dominating issue for this campaign has been public safety, and every candidate believes they have the answer or the solution to help cut down on the city's soaring gun violence. But for those at the grassroots level already fighting the violence, they say Philadelphia is already in a crisis. In the city of brotherly love, tragedy has become commonplace. A recent study revealing two out of every three people living in Philadelphia claim they've heard gunshots in their neighborhood in the last year. There have been 640 shootings so far this year in Philly, with 123 being fatal. 11 victims have been minors. This is definitely a public health crisis, because we're talking about loss of life. Marla Davis Bellamy is director of Philadelphia Ceasefire, a violence intervention program that treats violence as a public health issue, believing it can be prevented and cured. But I think leadership, quite frankly, is paramount to all of this. Uh, you've got to have people, leaders, that are articulating uh, some of the concerns that uh, many of our community folks have. In Philadelphia's mayoral race, crime has been the top issue for the candidates. No different than the recent mayoral election in Chicago, where Lori Lightfoot was the first mayor to lose re-election in 40 years. Many Chicagoans convinced she was not tough enough on crime. Republicans have found success, beating some Democrats in state and federal elections across the country by spotlighting crime. But in Philadelphia, it will be more challenging, where it's estimated Democrats outnumber Republicans seven to one. It's not just a Philadelphia problem, it's across the country. And I think it's the availability of guns. You know, uh, young people can now get a gun before they can get a textbook. Dr. Dorothy Johnson Spike founded Mothers in Charge, a violence prevention organization 20 years ago after her son was shot and killed. For her, it's not about the politics, it's about the people who have to live with the bloodshed and bullets. This is our 20th year. The last two years have been the worst. Yo, Yo man. Brandon Chastain is a survivor. His motto, I don't want to kill you, I want to heal with you. In January, the well-known educator and community peace activist was nearly killed when a gunman fired into his car but missed. Yet he keeps pushing for peace on the streets. You have to be in the communities. I get love in the community because I'm here. This is not a fake or phony thing that I'm doing. This is real life. Also real for Mika Outlaw, who just a few weeks ago was called a hero after she drove a three-year-old baby to a firehouse for help after he was shot in the face. That little boy was recently upgraded from critical to stable condition. Fortunately, I was able to help, you know. So, no, I don't see myself as a, uh, as a hero um, because that's what you were supposed to do. And sadly, violence has also found its way into the mayor's race. Last week, a 22-year-old man shot and killed a 46-year-old man. Both men were canvassing for the same political group. Investigators say uh, they had a history of not liking each other, and so when they crossed paths, a violence broke out. Uh, however, uh, prosecutors did not charge that 22-year-old, saying that they believe the one shot he did fire was in self-defense. Adrian. All right, Dre, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.